Welcome to another adventure. Today we're gonna go out to Stonewall Peak near Julian, California. This trail is about 4.2 miles with 830 feet of elevation gain and it took about hour 50 minutes moving time round trip. First things first, when you get here you are gonna need to pay for parking. It's $10 at Paso Pucachao Campground which is located across the street from the trailhead. While you can bring dogs to the campgrounds, dogs are not allowed on the trail. So typically when I go to Stonewall Peak, I will arrive before the reindeers are at the station. And so what I do is I grab an envelope from the station and then you can fill it out with your car information. You slide $10 cash inside of it and then you put that into the drop box. And you must do that before you head to the trailhead so you don't get ticketed or towed um, while you are out on your hike. So once your parking's all taken care of, you're just gonna head across the street and you're gonna start up the trailhead. You'll see it, um, you'll see the trailhead sign easily across the street. Now this is a very busy road, so make sure to look left and right and left again and right again. If you have any kids, pick them up or hold on to them tight. So going up this trail, uh, you climb up this mountain and you end up doing a bunch of switchbacks and you're along a hillside with trees. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, when we go, both times we've gone, it's been super windy and you just hear the wind whipping through the trees. It is something to be cautious of because there are fallen trees in the area. There's a lot of dead trees around from past fires. So something to keep in mind that, uh, you know, if this tree doesn't look stable and it's windy, I wouldn't stay by it. And it's very possible during high wind conditions uh, that maybe this won't be the best trip for you. Depending on the weather, this is a hike that you will see snow on, uh, definitely towards the top. And if there's snow and ice up at the top of this trail, I would be very, 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 very cautious about going to the viewpoint because as you'll see in the end of the footage, it is all stone. Um, and so if you are fighting snow and you're fighting ice, there is a very high risk for uh, slipping and falling. If you feel like you can do it comfortably, that's one thing. But if you're very unsure, you're not sure footed, you don't have the correct gear, don't make it to the top on a snowy day. Um, it's okay. You can wait for it to melt and, and go back up another time. Once you make it to the top, it's absolutely beautiful. You get 360 views of the surrounding area. Um, it, it's an absolutely amazing viewpoint. Something to keep in mind is once you get up there, it is windy, at least both times that I've done it. And uh, you know, you can see in this footage here, it's just like blowing out the microphone. Bring something that's warm because you can get very cold up there quickly on a windy day. Overall, I'd say this is a top hike uh, in the San Diego trail system. I've never had a bad time here and I just love everything about it. So if you haven't been here before, I definitely recommend checking it out. Hey, if you find these videos helpful, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below so I know you like what I'm doing. All right, Adventure Fam, let's go to the trail.
here. Yeah, buddy. 